What's up? It's episode 17. Uh, this is a great one, you guys. We talk about uh, Pringles. Pringles, Pringles cans Pringles. and uh, <laughs> cremation. <laughs> and then we talk about Chad GPT. We talk about corporate greed. We talk about mm. Netflix password sharing going away. There's a lot going on, you guys. And Tristan's I, back from back. having a child. I just want to be a tycoon. Let me be a tycoon. I want to. I want to make what kind the money. Of tycoon? I want to. I zoo want, tycoon. I want, dude, I, uh, one of the best games of all time. Go play Zoo Tycoon. Stop watching this. Go play Zoo Tycoon right now. No, watch this. <laughs> no, watch this. <laughs> then play Zoo Tycoon. <laughs> Welcome to TriFlix Cast. We're back. It's episode 17. We are professional videographers and photographers talking about the latest business practices, techniques, and tech with a little bit of fun sprinkled in. I'm Cole. I'm the producer around these parts. To my right is... I'm Tristan. I'm back. Welcome back. Finally. Mm. Welcome, sir. It's After good to have you back. After strange Thanks. disappearance. I'm apparently a co-founder. <laughs> That's news to me. He, uh, <laughs> he just stumbled upon this company and found it. <laughs> Like Christopher Columbus of business <laughs> <laughs> ran aground at Triflix. That's that's bad. I'm David Baker. I I'm also here. Uh, and a surprise <laughs> guest uh, on the via telefono. We got uh, T Dino. Adios. Oh wait, that's goodbye. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hola. It's the T Dino. <laughs> Hola. Wow. A man of many languages. <laughs> <laughs> well well versed well versed uh tdino is also my daddy <laughs> i love you my dad he called and we were like we're putting him on the show so he's gonna yeah. stick around for a minute and uh we're going to talk about our, our news story that we're gonna start off the episode with today if you don't listen we start with a news story but if you do then you know so we're gonna jump into this um <laughs> how informative t- I uh, was cur- <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, so, t- so today's news story has to do with Pringle cans. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I, there's only one thing that comes to mind. Um, it pr- already worries me. <laughs> okay, so I normally, uh, for TD No here, and for those of you who haven't listened before, uh, normally with the news story, I like to just kind of give a little bit, and then you can tell me what maybe you think the news story is about. Okay. So we'll start with TD. You know, what do, what do you think? Uh, what do you think this news story is about? And just so you are aware, I find these by just typing in funny news stories on Google. Most um, I, I don't think I can say what I think it's about. I think you're going <laughs> down a, a, a dark path. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. It is dark. Not going to lie. So oh. what do you guys, what do you guys got? Tristan, David, or you got nothing? Tr- are I, you on the same boat as TD? You know? Uh, I've seen the memes recently about uh, it's like this dog breed that has a really really long nose for some reason. Okay. And the memes edited where it goes with the uh, it's like the Muppets song that's covered by like Piggy, where it's like Let me do it for you. Yes, I've seen these. Uh, but uh, that's my guess. I don't know. Okay. Let me get it. I uh, I knew a guy. We used to <laughs> smuggle <laughs> paraphernalia in the bottom of Pringles cans. Okay, I like it. Smuggling, smuggling, smuggling stuff in cans. Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, as usual, y'all are wrong. Ah. Um, come to find out, the inventors, the the inventor of the Pringles can, uh, he died at eighty nine years old, and oh, he was cremated no. and buried in a Pringles can. <laughs> That's ah, I like it. <laughs> Is it like a special Pringles can, or they just bought one off the shelf? And it's it's old Frederick J. Barr uh, from Cincinnati. <laughs> he was so proud of his Pringles can creation that he was buried in one of the colorful containers <laughs> after he passed away on the fourth of May, two thousand eight, at the age of eighty nine. You know, I could imagine living right. my whole life in my magnum opus as a tube. <laughs> So, so a question: uh, Does a cremated body fit in one Pringles can, or does it take multiple? He's and uh, a pallet. <laughs> Damn. They said to buy a whole case of Pringles. He's a whole pallet that, of carry Pringles. That's a good question. I, I, I it just says. Okay, uh, we can do this. We can do real math. I'm gonna bust out my degree real quick. What's the what uh, is your volume of of ash? <laughs> Absolutely. Well done. I want to know the volume body. of ash. 
Come yes. on, we got the we got the the engineers okay. here. Okay, so, so yeah. it is. It's about three to three point five liters or oh, liters. Yeah, or well, because when you burn, right. you it's burning up. When you burn something, you're releasing energy, so the mass it's it's going to shrink. Yeah, yeah, but yeah like. Yeah. A liter, hundred percent. Three liters of a human. Three point three fi- to three point. Th- I yeah. guess it depends on how big the person is. Uh. All right, now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. So think about it. You got a pop bottle, which is how many liters? Uh, two. A two. Yeah, there liter. you go. And and uh, and three point seven liters is a gallon. So we're about to hone in on how much it takes. And one Pringles can did not do it for your boy. No. No it way, right? Unless they made like a scaled up Pringles can. So, so yeah, so it says a can. Oh, oh. Uh, there's a hundred and sixty-five like uh, grand. He designed his own Pringles can for his death. Thank you. <laughs> maybe they. I just... do want to let you know, Cole. Your mother loves Pringles, so there is you can maybe plan something special for her. This is the Pringles. Oh episode. my gosh! Yes, yeah, so we get her a custom Pringles can. I, I'm sure they just threw out the stuff that didn't fit in. You know, uh, the, <laughs> show, the sun's true show of No one love. would know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Like, yeah, it came out just under a liter. So so crazy. It was perfect. It was like a body fit in a Pringle can all along. The, like, it uh, doesn't fit all the way in. You just brush off some from the top. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that got sprinkled out at the farm. <laughs> oh, God. They, just, they just they put a little bit right right around mm-hmm. the factory. They were like, ah, release it, and then it goes into the HEPA filter. <laughs> Sucks it right into the right in there, right into the factory. Yep. Yeah, you look yeah. like you. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, Tristan? Yeah, I'm, Tristan's, I'm really trying to get the volume down. He's trying to find the trying volume the of the a volume. Pringle can. So if it's the snack pack Pringles, ah. it's twenty. <laughs> It's 20, 20 snack pack nah, Pringles, but I'm trying to find out what the volume <laughs> is of an actual Pringles Tristan. can. I think it's 190 grams. Nah, hang on. No, no. You guys are all headed down the wrong path. It's a, it's a cylinder. It's, yep. it's a, so all you got to do is feed, do the area times yeah. the height. Yeah. Yeah. Do the I volume don't know of the Pringles they, can. They, they sadly the don't have that. That's not true. It said on, Google it. I, I just saw it. Hold right. on a second. What are dimensions the dimensions of a Pringles of can? Pringle Here you go. Can. Guys, come on, I could guess. It's about four inches by about what? Fourteen inches tall. I bet I'm pretty close uh, with that guess. Seven point six centimeters or three inches One's in diameter. Th- yeah, by nine there you go. nine inches to ten inches tall. Yeah. <laughs> like Whoa. always, a male a male guessed a little large on the Pringle scan. <laughs> 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 that can must be six inches tall. Yeah. I uh, thought that can was eighteen inches long. Dang I, it. It's coming out to five ounces. <laughs> Five ounces a can. <laughs> five ounces? So then there's no way that's only five ounces. Oh, no, no, no way. It's, no it's, way. it's, it's larger than no a way. sixteen ounce bottle. No, you're doing cubic inches, man. Come on, or cubic what? centimeters. Ounce? That's volume. No, so a normal size can it looks like is somewhere around five point eight okay. ounces. There it is, two twenty three inches. This is cubed. why we should just be on the metric system. It wouldn't be confusing. I know, right? Sure. They hijacked the the SAE system. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. It was a hijacking, no metric. No metric. It's okay. I don't care either way. I was trained in both. So, what's the volume, guys? Standard size. Uh, our our engineer is really trying to figure it out. So, use the use the largest can. The largest can is seven point zero five ounces. That's the largest. No, you There's ounces. no way. It's only seven ounces. Maybe that's the cubic inches, guys. Not ounces. Cubic inches. Or cubic what's centimeters. The, what's filmmakers the, air, man, what's the area of the lid? I, I'm missing. It's ten inches. <laughs> wait, it's ten wait, inches tall by four inches wait, in wait, diameter. Said it already. There you go. Figure, figure the area of the circle times the height, guys. Pi it's times right. radius squared. Or yeah. Go to Google and say area of a cylinder. And then multiply it by the height. I, I still. Everyone's yelling. What's the? What's we the, would hold you. What's already. the diameter? What's the it's radius? Four inches. inches. Okay, it's four inches. Four inches of the diameter. Five diameter. times. Yeah. Two, two pi r. I'm so glad two that we're video people and not and, and nine inches tall. <laughs> ten. Yeah. Ten inches. Do tall? ten. Yeah. This is their largest can. Oh, the big boy. 125. What? Uh, we did. <laughs> what did you do? Cubic inches. Cubic, cubic inches, inches divided. Give divided by 231. Units. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang. Take your number divided by 231. Because that's how many cubic inches in a gallon. Oh. Divide by two thirty one. One hundred twenty five, right? Divide by thirty one's four. Two thirty one. Two thirty one. Oh my god. 
I thought you were saying it. They hang up. Oh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what it are the chances? How, who Who's else calling is calling in? in? Is Hold on Cade? a sec. Yeah, stay on the line, Dad. It's Cade. <laughs> we gotta merge the calls. <laughs> hey, give me a second. Cool. Okay, welcome, Cade. Uh, we've got Dad on the line as well. We are live on the podcast. Welcome. Oh, hello, Father. <laughs> Hello, sons, and hello, fellow Triflix podcasters. <laughs> welcome. 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 We are, Cade, we, uh, right, currently, we're actually working through a, a math equation. Yeah. We're trying to figure how much of the human body in Ash yeah. can fit in a Pringles can. Yeah, we're currently spending Whoa. 15 minutes doing a math equation <laughs> a seventh grader could do in two. <laughs> it's going on. Well. I pulled off the road. We're about to solve the problem. <laughs> He's getting wait, his calculator you're telling out. Me, wait, are we talking about a big Pringles can or like the, uh, the small one? Because it's two sizes. Yeah, that's what I said. It we went fit, with the biggest. It would fit oh in 20 snack God. packs is what I came out to, but I Did don't you know tell the me, large dude, one. I, I feel like you could easily pack a person into a large can. <laughs> No way. no way. No way. I was like, listen, let's just say you got to put a little water in there. It's fine. Uh, to come oh, back. we <laughs> went it down. <laughs> wet it down dude this whole podcast is just gonna be us talking about how many how much of a, a person's dead body we could fit in a Pringles can <laughs> that's okay we that's, all you know this is it needs to be talked about you know it's uh, and, and for those of you since I just, I threw Cade in here real fast Cade is my brother say hi Cade hello oh. fellow podcasters what's up it makes sense why your father said hi son <laughs> Hey, I'm just <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah, that, I just wanted to clarify. Okay, I put it together. Not everybody follows as close hey, as I'm David quick. does. I'm quick. Oh, there you go. Oh, you figured it out. Hey, it's maybe, 12, 12, oh, 12, the engineer figured it out. Here's his degree. Watch. <laughs> it's 1,200 milliliters for one one of the uh, hey, one right. one now, can. So that's 1.2 liters. Yes. Wow. <laughs> it's metric system. Milliliters well, the liters. Yeah. Your time to shine. So you could fit them in like two, two and a half to three yeah, I was liters. Say two and a half. Yeah, yeah. So cans. if he was a really skinny guy, real, <laughs> real like a five foot two. Hold on a second. 100, though. 100 he invented pounds. the Pringles can. I doubt that dude was skinny. <laughs> hey, Probably you don't not. know that man. Oh wait, actually no. I bet he was because think about it. Like somebody had to have been skinny because like you can't reach the bottom of a pringles can so <laughs> who would design no. such yeah, a thing he, can. no he, he had children's hands <laughs> it's made for children's tiny hands, hands. It's, it's you're supposed uh, to have your children oh <laughs> reverse deadpool with the tiny feet and the tiny <laughs> just, legs the, yeah just oh. the tiny hands <laughs> what are you looking up baby <laughs> and there's pringles cans right next to him you see him? Yeah, see? Look at him. Based on that picture, got you, got a big you, could, noggin. you could only fit his head in those two. I know, uh, 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 T. Dino and Kate, like, you guys can't see the picture, but they, they showed the guy. He was not small. <laughs> He's not a small man. Of course not. He lived on Pringles. That's what I said. At least 18 inches. <laughs> that just doesn't seem... <laughs> it doesn't seem like that's... 1.2 liters is like a can. That just blows my mind. I don't know. Well, it's in, it, in, in the SAE system. That's a half a gallon, by the way. It says a half yeah, a just, gallon will fit in there. That's Do we crazy, know though. the SAE system? <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> I don't know the you, SAE system. Yes, you do. You were raising it. It's Imperial. SAE Imperial. How, That's not measured. He only knows how many Pringles Miles fit in the can. You ask him that. He's like, yeah, it's 48, man. <laughs> he's like three fingers. Wait, I was like, yeah. how many kilos? How many kilos? <laughs> how many, see, now we're back to the other use for the Pringles can. Yes. Smuggling. Smuggling. How, how, how many, many kilos, kilos, can I how fit many kilos of dead ass can you fit in a Pringles can? Yeah, we're really oh. just figuring out how much Coke can you fit in a Pringles can. How many I mean, can... read between the lines, folks. You know, this is. What are we? What else oh. are the audience really trying to figure out here? What are? What do you mean? What are we trying to figure out? I don't know. Well, well, are we going to film some? I honestly kind of want to shoot a, a Pringles I, can. I want to shoot a video, Maybe. like a like a thriller, some little sci-fi short film or something like that. Now, and like the, the killer, can. like the killer packs all the bodies into Pringles cans. It's like to hide them from the cops, Dude, that's but they actually, put it in Pringles I actually cans. like that. Would you watch I did, it? I'd watch that. <laughs> Absolutely. 
<laughs> the next mm, yeah. HBO docu series. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm walking on the Netflix in a minute and see if I can find me a the a can murderer. killer. <laughs> yeah, the can killer. That's how he disposes of the body. <laughs> Next I, I will tell you, we have completely gone off the rails. I did not think it was going to go this direction, but I like what oh, happened. That's perfect. I didn't either. Um, I mean, you guys can stick around if you want to talk about chat G- GPT, but... <laughs> hey, well, I got a good Triflix question. How do I get all of my plugins onto a hard drive for... <laughs> Cole, you know what I'm talking about, for Logic? Oh, oh. so you mean offload... Uh, oh, hold on a second. Yeah. So, so, uh for those of you out there, so so Logic is Apple own, Apple's own proprietary software yep. um, that is for audio recording for music production, um, and uh, you can. There's a lot of a lot of the libraries and things you can actually. So the sounds, the loops, the things that Apple includes that you can use for production, you can offload. Um, I'll be honest with you, there, there's Cade. a lot. There's a lot of them. I, I know that you can offload the, the libraries. I've offloaded those yeah. before, so like the sounds and the loops from Apple, but yeah. the yeah. plugins being remote, that's a good question. That's that's a that's a Google question. I haven't I haven't messed with logic uh, enough to know how to do that. Go to your hard but drive. The, but the sounds you can. The yeah, sounds no, you can. No, you can do it all. Because um, there's a lot there's a lot of those. So even if I could do that, I just want to make sure I don't because I feel like it's a lot easier on, on your computer if yes. you can offload all that stuff because it's so much of it but so. did you buy a terabyte <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. you only need if 500 you, if you need to access so, it most of it's through the just the finder like your folder structure if you go to the hard drive to the library and then you'll have yeah. audio and plugins like audio and then in the next folder is plugins and then you have components below that that should be where they're stored and then if you want the loops and the the mini folders that's in a separate one yeah, but but how would Logic know to go to his external drive and access that per the program? You know what I mean? Like, I know, just, I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure they have to be all local. I don't think. I you... thought I I'm pretty sure the plugins do have to be local, but that's like I said that's a good question. Well, you if, if I can at least folder. get the sounds off of it, that would be that would be more helpful. I don't know. I guess it doesn't. Maybe I don't need to be doing that, but. I just figured it'd be easier on the computer. I mean, it's a terabyte with 32 gigabyte of RAM. These so. these files should be like kilobytes to megabytes. That's not true. <laughs> for, not plugins? No, this, no. for plugins? For plugins? They're you, heavy. Yeah. If you download, especially like, I mean, you could probably save yourself, I don't know, 80 to 100 gig, I think, if you download like all the instruments and all the loops and stuff. Um I, I want to say my file was somewhere around that size, like maybe 75 to 80 gig, I think. Because these are like high quality yeah. samples of instruments yes. and whatnot. Yes. Those are called plugins? Bingo. No, the plugins are Bingo. separate, correct? Okay. So I was just we saying, moved those on are, the sounds. Yeah. Okay. But well, the, the plugins are probably no, but, just as heavy, but I think those have to be local. <laughs> no, but your answer was good anyway, because yes, I, I was also meaning to ask about those too, because again, like you guys are talking about, it, they are all heavy, so... I'll be 100% honest with you. When I did it, I was literally kind of like fumbling through. And to, and I'm pretty sure it's baked into the system settings and it's not a logic thing. Like, yeah, they are. Because that's, that's how, right. I that's, remember how now. Um, that's how you store the sound effects in Final Cut for yes. video editing and stuff. So that's that's the folder structure that I was talking so about. So you have to go, you would go to like, are you, is it open right now? Uh, no, it's not. I'm actually, uh, I can open it. Oh, you're good. Uh, I don't, I don't even. He's also yeah. in his car. If you go, yeah, if you go he, to no, the No, Apple. no, he, he's at work. He's at work. Are <laughs> you? No, I just got home. I got home, baby. <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get with you on that, buddy. I think you go you go to like the Apple logo and you're going to want to pull up the storage and show all the storage on your, um, on your uh, your Mac and then off mm-hmm. to the right hand side I'm pretty sure there's a button somewhere that says something about like music storage or like you know what part of it is for music creation mm-hmm. and then within yeah. that mm-hmm. you can use that to then offload your library yeah those it's all on I, the see. Mac. Okay. I forgot about that it's, it's all, all in baked the, in it's all on the hard drive that your OS is on see, if you only have one drive in there I watched a video of it a long time ago and I was like man there were several steps and, my, and I was like uh, alright so <laughs> see that's the thing man <laughs> Tech can be intimidating. It can be. Yes. Kate, yeah. thank you for proving the point. The tech can be intimidating. <laughs> Listen, guys, yeah. I'm intimidated. I'm gonna first admit it. I mean you know. He's like, I just wanna strum tech. I just wanna strum a guitar and I'm I'm sitting here trying to offload libraries. <laughs> I think I think I was like, I'm just, like eighty I just, gig. I, I could set the tempo and hit the big red button, you know? Or R <laughs> as a keyboard command, you know? 
How yeah. many computers yeah. can we fit in a Pringles can? <laughs> oh my gosh! If they're cremated, oh. <laughs> wait, does it? Right. Could you? You could fit a phone in there. Technically, a phone is a handheld yeah. computer. What? Oh wow! Uh, I heard you in the well, background I'm, I'm there, Tino. What's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna say something and I'm gonna hang up and listen to your answer online. Wait, sorry, we're not on FM. Uh, <laughs> if, 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 how many weather balloons from China fit in a Pringles can? Oh yeah. <laughs> Depends on if they're still intact or not. All right, guys. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to a full episode with the dads. Yes, we're full bringing to you the back. Brim. Yes. All right, guys. And thank you for your time. I'm going to sign off as well. Okay. Thank right. you, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Have a good podcast. Yes, we appreciate you guys stopping by for a minute. It's been real. Hey, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. God bless. <laughs> Adios. Thanks, guys. Bye. See ya. Yeah, right. dude we should do a uh a, a call in tech support <laughs> podcast just yeah. people calling in just, except i, I won't kinda... do any of the answering you guys just have to figure it out and yeah, i'll we have ra- no I'll access rate, to google i'll rate the uh the tech support you give yeah sure dude i like that that's a good idea i've wanted to do some call in stuff forever yeah, yeah it's easy to do now that we got your little i think adapter. we should do i want to do a live one i want to do like a live stream yeah. yeah okay so here's the thing guys right if this is something that you're interested in please leave a comment yeah. let us know we, we'd be down for it but we want to make sure that you guys are interested in general so and yeah. if you're not interested you're still clicked it. out of the video <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh for sure uh but that was fun that was fun it, i it's that's cool that was a, yeah something different right one of the, pod, good. One of the pot the segments of all time <laughs> yes the pringles can uh, that's gonna be a great clip we're just there's so much from that um okay so if you've made it this far thank you um, yeah. that was fun and different and today is just completely off the cuff um there's one thing that i'd like to uh talk about first and then there's something that's been on our minds and just i don't know we've been talking a lot about it so i think we need to address it but the first you're, thing you're wearing shoes first of all yes uh by Thank popular God. demand i am wearing shoes again <laughs> i will never ever ever again can you not wear them, shoes give them like a little tease <laughs> Just no, like, no tease. I'm done. I got <laughs> way too much backlash. I've got PTSD like now. Little, this little bit of little scam. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so Cole's wearing <laughs> shoes today. Uh, but the big thing is that, uh, again, this is the first. We took we took a week off in between because, uh, you know, we we had the, the intern cast come out, which yep. yeah. was awesome. Um, yeah, we're so great. excited to work more mm-hmm. with those people. You guys are probably really wondering why they're here and why. <laughs> It was called an intern cast. I, I will watched, tell you later. Yeah, I watched it. I still don't know. <laughs> I will tell. We will. We will dive into that. I promise. Um, but the, the one major thing is uh, yeah. a big congratulations to Tristan. And um, there's more dads in the room today. Yeah. Yes, I birthed a child. The last time you, you saw did. him, he was not a father. He is now a father. Yes, I made the baby. It exists. <laughs> yes, I, there's. It's living and breathing currently. Proof I'm not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> is that what I guess? That's what yeah. that is. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. He can die in peace now. <laughs> he can. So yeah. so uh, maybe can. I I I have heard plenty of this. So so <laughs> little Nico was born. Yes. And you've had quite the time so far. How how are we what three weeks in now? Close. Yeah. I think we're yeah. probably on the fourth. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Right. Feels like time sure. flies. They grow up so fast. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one day it'll he's be already you. peeing and pooping who would have thought <laughs> ah, and eating food yeah uh so give me like one of your funniest or like best stories so far about just like the process uh yeah, yeah i actually ran into somebody today they're having a baby and i got asked all the questions and nice um uh, it's awesome the there's uh it's one of those things that's like really rewarding you know what i'm saying no. but then you're like <laughs> You just like question everything all the time. <laughs> you just question all. I think the funniest story is uh, really? he's a boy. It's the first baby syndrome. Um, and I've always heard that boys are easier, but I find that hard to believe because I, no. I don't. What they say is boys are are harder when they're when they're younger and then easier when they're older and then girls are flipped. Yeah, so no, they're easier I when didn't they're hear the first part of that. I've only heard just that easier. boys are easier. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. no. <laughs> he's got a fire hose and he just, every time I try to change him, he just, there's, there's a, there's a, there are people that like a 5% chance of rain. Yeah, of rain. 
<laughs> There's a 5% of uh, intermittent showers. You didn't think that meteorology would come into play once you became a yeah. parent. There's a, uh, I'm really bad at, you know, dressing for the weather too. So, yeah. <laughs> so you're not a fan of chocolate and lemonade. <laughs> oh no, dude. He, he just, he blasted me one time whenever I was, uh, <laughs> I just got his diaper off and, uh, dude just chocolate surprise just uh, in the middle of putting desitin on his chafed little bum and uh that's gotcha. honest, honestly like yeah. that he just eats sleep poop like a baby do yeah that's, yep. that's, it's that's, a it's a silent nico yeah now, this is probably unpopular opinion but i i just think that this this stage of it all is so incredibly boring uh he's pretty <coughs> quiet like i mean that's what i'm but yeah I'm saying like it's, there's it's not just a lot very, of activity yeah. i don't hear him <laughs> me either i hear a couple him. times on the phone but i i intentionally put my phone on speaker whenever someone calls me and i'm home <laughs> and i will hold it <laughs> it's ingrained the yeah. fact that you are I'm interrupting me a father. Right i'm like hey you're really inconveniencing me but <laughs> <laughs> sure what's up uh that well, being said, awesome. so you're is, enjoying it yeah you. honestly i haven't got to play this many video games in months it's wow. pretty <laughs> awesome i come home and i just you know have to change a diaper every once in a while yeah make, make my wife dinner stuff like that i i can't really do the whole feeding part and sleep it's like eat sleep poop and i, tried I can't it. feed sleeping's bottles. pretty inactive and then the poop yes okay mr inexperience over there yes there are bottles <laughs> hey don't be one I, of I those people one time don't be one of those people yeah we're not i'll oh, tell you how to have a baby oh, 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 oh. I, it depends <laughs> on i learned like supplies like a whole thing like every every person's different and mm-hmm. the quantity and then how yeah. like the last how much I mean, the baby feeds so like you're i guess you're not really supposed to breastfeed until if you even are able to produce that much i i just assumed it was like a yeah. I don't know. You go to the bathroom and you pee. Everybody pees. It just There's works, right? Pee. What you go, what it's comes in it. goes out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that there was extra steps. <laughs> yes. So, like so yeah, I can't, I can't bottle feed for now. So I'm pretty much limited to diapers and sleep assistance. See, yes. People don't know. People don't. Our know, listeners man. are not all dads. Yeah, I will tell you. I and Our I told little... Tristan this after literally probably the day he had Nico, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Yo, I'm so glad I'm not the only dad in the office anymore." <laughs> yeah, no, I I enjoy it. I think that it'll be more fun when he's interactive. It's so much more fun, man. Yeah, when, when it's, it's so much fun. Bill Burr's bit when the baby becomes is no longer an it becomes like a he because you can have a conversation you with actually it. talk to it yeah, yeah. It. well that's what i'm saying <laughs> that you is said the his coolest name. part man yeah. you said his name more times than i probably have since he's been born nico yeah i just never call him by nico i get it i mean the baby the horrible thing is, is like, a lot of names yeah that's was, like that's the thing with parents usually is like we barely call any of the kids like by their actual name yeah like we've got you know like elsie we call her else all the time and like lid we call her lydia we call her lid and the unfortunate thing that we did not plan for with luna is a lot of times we call her looney <laughs> Looney Tunes. yeah it's like uh. yeah yeah no i just i call her the bear. whatever just word comes to my brain is the thing i call my child i love it yeah flip flop bing bong jib jab <laughs> willy ball <laughs> Rip rap, tip top, <laughs> just a lot of repetitive sounds. Yep. Well, congratulations Thanks. for sure. So uh, we're super yeah. pumped, super yeah. pumped for yeah. you. Oh. Good job. I would like to meet him at some point. I mean, whenever. I'm you going. know where he lives. <laughs> Go on by. Your wife scares me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she scares me. She's too. like you. <laughs> you will. You will come over and make my husband work. Oh, nice. Got a uh, client. Sweet. Um, okay, <laughs> so we've addressed the baby in the room um it's not tristan's not back in the room. he's back and uh yeah you're gonna get to see his face more again i got a day and two half days of paternity yeah uh <laughs> if you uh <laughs> if you're planning on having a kid and you want to have maternity leave don't, don't own your own business don't do yeah. it i felt bad not gonna lie but we literally ramped up production yeah. like right then yeah who would have thought january would be 30 percent bigger than last january <laughs> <laughs> oh, i told yeah. you i was hitting the ground uh, running I, I hate it when your business grows you and me both man man i'm kidding i wish it did worse 
Um, okay, so Gosh. I don't. I'm gonna ignore that you even said that. Gosh, <laughs> what a can you just be a Debbie Downer this whole <laughs> podcast? Just, oh, like, just no. everything. Sad trombone. Oh, no. I think it's it built in. Uh, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Uh, okay, now so I feel for you guys. We're we're just gonna because we're already in this a while. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna jump straight into. Uh, we're gonna shill for a minute, and we're gonna talk about Chat GPT. Um, we're not getting paid. Why is it called a shill? Well, it's just a. It's it feels kind of bandwagony. Um, yeah, and and it On kind of is. Thing. Yeah, but I think we need to talk about it because we talked. About- and now a quick break to hear from our sponsors, Coffee House Five. With locations in Franklin and Greenwood and Suna 3rd in Bargersville, Coffee House 5 is Johnson County's premier independent coffee shop to relax, study, or meet friends around great coffee and great food Monday through Saturday. Whether it's a handcrafted espresso or a single origin pour over, you'll enjoy the freshest, smoothest coffee possible roasted in-house at their Franklin location using a unique airbed roasting process. And don't forget to pair your coffee with a ham and cheddar scone, biscuits and gravy made with their award-winning Parmesan chive biscuit, or any of their other pastries and sandwiches prepared in their Franklin kitchen using family recipes in a style they call Midwest comfort food. As if that's not enough to get your attention, Coffee House 5 is a for-benefit coffee house. All profits are invested in building a stronger community through their support of local mental health services, which you can read more about on their website, coffeehouse5.com. So next time you're in Franklin or Greenwood and soon Bargersville, stop by Coffee House 5. We've talked a lot about AI and a lot of production companies are doing that right now because it's going to change the way that production is handled. And yeah. we, you know, we're, uh, we like cutting edge technology and we want to find ways that we can implement it that help us on our day to day business walk. And, uh, yeah. you know, if it helps us to gain the, the time in addition to the finances to be able to do more of those passion projects, then that's something that we're super into. So, yeah, uh, Tristan has yeah. shared some stuff with me and watched some stuff uh, in general. So I'll let you lead the conversation and then we can get into some of the stuff I've dealt with. Yeah. Uh, AI is cool. You put in prompts and then it spits out uh, a very condensed version of whatever it was trained on. A lot of times it's internet based things. So, a bunch of sourced images or sourced words or scripts or news articles like you can pretty much train these different models uh, on whatever the input is and chat gpt was based largely part of just internet based conversation um, articles peer-reviewed studies like just everything is thrown in it and so whenever you type in a prompt like uh, top 10 ways to uh, fit things in a pringles can in the form of a news article or in the in a theatrical script um you can give it a task to do in a format and it will find a way to create it but the thing that you get out of it is it's not just random a lot of times the information is actually pretty coherent and surprisingly accurate like a lot of times the advice that you could type in is good but it has more practical uses like Um, solving math equations, doing homework, um, uh, coming up with business models, which is something that I've been really interested in recently, uh, mission statements, these types of things that it has a lot of applications outside of just making quirky little memes and silly Nicholas Cage is angry (laughs) trying to sell food at uh what was it, Olive Garden or whatever script that we made. Yeah, and and Chad GPT is is specifically text-based correct yes. yeah so Currently. you're you are yeah correct um so you're you're typing in a prompt essentially and whether that's trying to have a conversation with it yeah. or and it, it can do conversation too which is really interesting yeah or if you again like you said if you want to give it a math equation or tell it to write out a business plan or whatever yeah it essentially scours its neural network of all this information that it's been trained on and then it tells you yeah it gives you an answer it's really cool um and i know a lot of people are concerned like ai is taking the jobs it's everybody always says but it sounds like ultron that's uh, what it sounds like it kind of does it's just connected to everything (laughs) and i mean it maybe at some point it can be but uh it's it's weird because i'll i always like say you know it's you're always going to need that human touch but ai in general has been getting progressively uh more impressive and i don't think 
it's ever going to take away the human's role fully, but um, I'll pose the question. Putting in the both props, you guys, like, do you think that there's a chance down the line that it eventually could be sentient? Sentient? Yeah. Mm. So, like, it, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's actually like creating. Self aware yes. is the level of sentience. So, it's like it understands that it is a robot. Yeah. Sure. Maybe. I think it could be. But the question is, do you give it like rights and protections as a entity? Mm. Yeah, right. Is it at that moment in time, right? Does <laughs> More it... than a chicken at the at the coop. You know what I'm saying? Like you go <laughs> yeah. you go to the, the farms and you got you got PETA that cares and then you got the you got farmers that do it independently and then you have like the chicken <laughs> mill that's just like churning out chickens. So it's like you're gonna chicken have churners. We have free range ai and then you have we have corporatized uh, like the ai farms that were just milking them and they may be sentient but the question is how long before they like surpass chicken level of i am a i am an entity on my own type of thing it sounds like a future job mm. the old ai milker so i actually just pulled up chat gpt okay is it running it's been down all day uh i was able to do it dang it uh, i asked how many pringles cans would it take to hold an average cremated adult human? Okay. And? It said it's not appropriate to use Pringles cans. Oh. Or any other <laughs> container to hold a human <laughs> as is disrespectful, not in line with common practices to handle human remains. Wow. And I said in response, because it can do a conversation, it's purely theoretical. We won't be doing this in real life. What would the calculation and answer look like? And then it gave me the answer. And... <laughs> It's very wrong. <laughs> uh, what did it say? It says, uh, this is a great example. It's very good at confidently telling you wrong information. Yeah, which and is if the you don't know, scary part. If you don't know, which we know because we did the calculations, thanks to... Go back to the beginning of the episode. Yep. <laughs> we did the math. So here it is. The volume of an average adult human cremated body is about 200 to 600 cubic inches. There you go, Papa Cole. Which is equivalent to about three to ten liters. Well, I got that three part right. Yeah. A typical Pringles can has a volume of about 40 to 50 milliliters. <laughs> no. It would take several thousand Pringles oh cans my gosh. to hold an average adult human cremated can, body. Can you repose the question as uh, if I have a 1.2, if I have a 1.2 liter yeah. Pringles can and a 3.5 milliliter will it at least do the basic math correctly yeah you could yeah so i could type that in and it would do it yeah and, yeah, uh, yeah yeah uh, it also tacked on keep in mind this is just theoretical <laughs> and Dude. it's not appropriate or respectful <laughs> to use pringles cans unless you invented the, the can <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah no i i've i've dismissed yeah. it early on um which i feel like was partly a mistake just because it felt really trendy chat gpt as a concept i saw uh, a lot of companies using it for memes or just jokes or script generation and it all was really clunky. <laughs> you mean the stuff we did with it? Well, the things, yeah. Cause Originally I, with a different AI, but it was essentially the same yeah, text-based yeah, yeah. system. Like, it just seemed really strange. I saw people making, like, fake articles, which we, it, in, in mainstream news, this has become an issue with uh, CNET. Yeah, so come to find out, and this has been kind of all over the internet in the past and week. That asterisk, they they were were they using Chat GPT? I don't know if it was specifically Chat yeah. GPT. I I believe that was the case, and that's why yeah. it kind of came into it. But essentially, I mean, and again, just you know take it all with a grain of salt. But you know, they were using AI to write articles, but they were all these articles were being written in a way to gamify the seo which is search engine optimization with google so that their results would appear higher than usual based on how everything was written mm -hmm. and that was kind of the issue which again like it's it's technically not really like illegal it's not illegal and it's not really breaking any terms of policy currently with google but it's like the issue is is down the line these these things are going to change and like Google the the thing is is like here we come into this whole world of like Google's AI needs to be able to detect when another AI is yeah. Yeah. essentially gamifying the system so that it can then rank that result in the correct way. Right. And now it, we have this you know this crazy like online world where these two systems are fighting against each other. And, yeah. And well, Google is like really under the gun right now to get some of this stuff figured out. One of the more, uh, I don't know if I'd say relatable, but it seems to be pretty common knowledge at this point example is um, the algorithms 
are not smart and they're not stupid. They just do what they're told. Exactly. So if an algorithm is told to gamify, like if it's told to pr- uh, produce high ranking results on Google, it will work towards that. Or if your goal is that you can use the AI to develop it. So an algorithm for something like um, on TikTok, it doesn't care what you want. It cares about the results. So TikTok's purpose or social media in general is like viewer retention, stay in app. So even if your goal is not to open the app and see inappropriate things, if it realizes that is what gets people to click or to stay in app, that's what it's going to go to. And you don't really have a way of filtering that out in a lot of these uh, algorithm based searches like TikTok as opposed to like Google, uh, which still has one, but at least you have some more filtering capabilities. So it's like you open the app, you're like, I don't want to see um, nudity. I don't want to see um, cars. I don't want to see tech. I want to see, um, I don't know, hot air balloons and dogs. The algorithm doesn't care at all because it only is purpose is to do what it was tasked with. And that is keep you on the app. So in the same sense with like the Google situation, It doesn't matter if the information is accurate. It doesn't matter if the information is useful or relative to the subject. It is entirely based on get high ranks. And and you hope someone at CNET is auditing it, but there's no guarantee. And that's where it's like, it's not technically illegal, but the question is, is it ethical? Exactly. And I think that's what a lot of it boils down to. I think in general, right, is the base ethics of the whole thing. And just like David mentioned, like, it chat gpt will yeah. very confidently tell you wrong information mm-hmm. yeah. and and that can be that can i mean we've we've seen all this stuff with the fake news and false information in general like that stuff yeah. can lead people down a bad path people are using it as a like as if it's like a substitute for google now yeah like i saw tweets which you don't look at you don't go on Twitter, I know. But people Not like, until I can buy my response was like, yeah, I put the, I asked Jet GPT and this is what it said. Like, what do you think? And like, they're just like, this is a source of truth. It's like, is it? Like, yeah. how can you know? And I think the... Unless you already know. I think the common misconception, I think in general with the branding of AI, and I, I'm sure both you guys will agree with me on this, but it's like, it's made mm. out to be this supercomputer you know interconnecting like you know yeah, there's jarvis. all these yeah like jarvis <laughs> thing but the thing is is like even with chat gpt like like what tristan said like it has a base algorithm what makes it ai and i honestly think it's it's bordering more with machine learning than anything mm-hmm. is that it's it has a base process of what it's supposed to be doing and it's trained on a certain data set so mm-hmm. that and and at that point in time like it learns from the things that you prompt and over time, it starts to connect these dots. But but again, it's all based on the base algorithm of like, when someone prompts you something, you give data from this data set because of this reason. Yeah. Uh, I saw that it, early on, it had a really big habit of when you would ask it something, it would spit out thing in lists because there's a lot of articles that do like top 10 ways to, <laughs> like, you yeah. know, like go skateboarding or like top 10 locations or recipes and things. And so it yeah. compulsively uh, wanted to do like top 10 lists yeah. for and normal questions. And that's the difference, right? It's like you still, like Tristan said, it's like you still, the human portion of that would understand that you're not asking me for a top 10 list right there's like there's something that you're wanting in specific the format yeah and it can't it can't differentiate that i mean and eventually it it might be able to but again it's only going to be within that specific task like one day it's not just going to be like you know again i'm self-aware and i'm gonna take over the whole internet like that's that's not what this stuff means it's not how it works it still has parameters well so these there's like a bunch of buzzwords and it's AI algorithm SEO and all this stuff. It's like, yeah, they're just buzzwords. So the way you, you have a data set and the data set is the information that you source to create like a table of, of, of information. And that's what feeds into your, right. your model or whatever. Um, and a lot of people don't realize <laughs> like if you have a data set, it can't generate new things within that data set. So like, if with the Lion B situation, which is uh, they were hired by, uh, oh gosh, I think OpenAI, I think OpenAI hired them um, to 
create a data set and they're a nonprofit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they they make a data set, but there's nothing <clears throat> illegal about sourcing information online. You're just you're just a that's researcher, you're just acquiring data. That's it's, what Google does, it's a, right? It's a composition of things. So mm. that on its own does nothing. Um, you have to train Especially a model nonprofit. Yeah, no, no profits yeah. here. We gave you, we we made this data set and we gave it to you, OpenAI. Yeah. So we're not implicated on this and at all. Anybody can access this uh, data set, yes. I believe, and and use it for training your own individual models. Which is like, the model is using the data set. Um, that's where it starts to get gray to me. But the model is using that data set and learning from it, and then. Learning from prompts. Learning from the prompts, yeah, and then to, yeah. to compare the before and after or the input and the output, and then you're determining whether or not the input or whether the output is what you expected, and if it's not, then the input has to keep learning until until the output is as expected. I right. That's a little wordy, but... Well, that's um, also learning how people prompt and what it yeah. might mean when you say something, you know? It's like the nuance things. It's a, it's a captcha. Yeah. Well, I mean, Gosh. it's learning from things online too, and which like, is the people are posting things <laughs> that aren't true online, but they're saying it as if they are true, and it's just like what? Which I what think are you is supposed to make well, heads or tails of. I think of? that's I think that's the biggest flaw of yeah. all of these tools is that again, where are we sourcing everything from? The internet, and we yeah. all know that there are large portions of the internet that are inherently flawed. You yeah. know, and that's why. 90% yeah. of all of these tools that came out. It was bias. It was, what? yeah, they just became racist right <laughs> the, off the Yeah, the, the bat. original racist one from Microsoft. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the chat bot. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. up for like two days and it, it was it's gone. It was racist. And then we have the Seinfeld Reich. thing that just happened. That, yeah. Uh, yep. We were... There you can't even a, talk about it because you don't know what the limit is between YouTube's yeah. restrictions and, well, well, now Twitch's. It was this AI-powered fake Seinfeld show that was on streaming on Twitch and they switched it from chat GPT to a lower powered one because it was down. Yeah. So it was this other open source Thanks AI and it news. started saying like a lot of politically incorrect and like insensitive things. And it broke Twitter, not Twitter, uh, Twitch's uh, terms and con conditions. Like even though like it was all AI generated and all this stuff and it's, yeah, um, it gets crazy real fast. Yeah. No, I, the whole, <laughs> Uh, unlicensed opinion oh. of my own outside of <laughs> triflix's context matters <laughs> sure <laughs> and in the whole situation with that while ai did play a part into it um it poses a whole other side of putting your content on platforms with ever-changing rules that can retcon or retroactively go back and affect yeah. media that you uploaded predating the changes. And what I mean by that is you can be in guidance or in alignment with the rules at the time, and then they can come back and rest uh, restrict or um, discipline your channel based on it. So imagine, yeah. you know, imagine driving on a road and the speed limit is 60 miles per hour and you're doing 60. <laughs> and then uh, two example. years later, they change the speed limit to 40 five and they have yeah. proof that you were doing 60 on there and they're like hey um you're not going to get a ticket but we'll give you a warning or something like that or maybe they give you a ticket you don't even know because a lot of times these rules aren't very clearly aligned but mm. the fact that they think that they can change the rules whenever is their own platform they can do but the idea that they can retroactively punish reduce income yeah, or do ridiculous. anything to pre-existing <laughs> videos is crazy yeah. to me but i understand as a business it's like, okay, only these videos moving forward can receive these advertisers and these videos in the back can't receive these advertisers. So only half of our videos are getting advertised. It's easier for them to make blanket yeah. changes across True. the whole platform. It's, it's their company. They can do whatever they yeah. want. Especially platforms that large as yeah. Yeah. Twitch and YouTube. Well, with the government and laws, like there's better examples, I think, because like, there's like whether or not you're allowed to own like certain types of vehicles or like guns or whatever. Yeah. But there's like grandfathered uh, things. So it's like, well, you were allowed to use this at one point, but now we changed the laws, but yours are okay because it was before the laws existed. Well, it's like code violations on homes. It's yeah. like you can't do a new build and break code, but you could sell a home with existing. Yeah, you're like, not yeah. going to get in trouble for something that was allowed at the time. <laughs> it, but there's probably regulation put in place at some point where it's like you have to up upgrade it by a certain time. But still, it's like you're giving it you're giving them an opportunity to address something other than be like 
bam well, a lot of times destroyed. It's, it's not even ex- fully explained what yeah. the change is so oh, even no. even yeah, it's an a automotive black box it is yeah. um Automotive Just, industry has until like the year 2024. The meat this is a bad example now yeah. because now it's we're a couple years away. So it's usually like five years to 10 years in advance, sometimes even longer, 15 years in advance where the government yeah. will set a regulation on uh, miles per gallon, oh, um, yeah. uh, the, 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 the cleanliness emissions. of emissions. Um, they'll yeah. set these restrictions decades or years in advance, and then manufacturers have time to do the infrastructure mm-hmm. design because it's not just research to hit these markers. It's changing manufacturing process. And yeah. while YouTube is still largely independent creators, there are networks of companies on there. And I'm not saying Jimmy Fallon or you know, those types of networks, but mm. like Linus Tech Tips is like a f- over 50 people now. And it's like they're – They've had a pivot realizing that if they solely made income off of YouTube or advertising yeah. dollars, that they'll drown because of these types of iterative changes. So yep. whenever companies get that large, um, you know, 10 to 50 people content creators um, in a company, it's like it's not feasible just because of how they make a rule change and you don't have decades to correct. Um, and even with the automotive example, yeah. If it were apples to apples with YouTube, it would mean not every car you're going to produce has to meet standards, but every car you made in the past yeah. has to meet these standards too. Which makes and no sense. I actually saw the Indiana laws and regulations for emissions recently because I was looking at mini, tr- mini trucks, <laughs> yeah. which are fun. But uh, in general, in Indiana, if a car is, I believe, 25 years or older, they don't have to be under certain restrictions. Yes. Because yes. 25 years ago, it doesn't make sense. To apply like a current laws to them, which is crazy to think about. It's well, almost twenty twenty. Well, there were cars without seatbelts. Yeah, and you can you can drive those right. still without seatbelts because it was before the law was yeah. introduced. There's, there's legal statute of limitations that are shorter than how far back YouTube's policy changes can go. So For it's sure. like you can For have sure. like a seven year statute yeah. of limitations. YouTube's been around since oh eight, so they can like retcon something from almost you know, 15 yeah. plus years ago. Which is nuts. And it's all because of money. It's all because oh, Google yeah. Advertising. wants to appeal to advertisers. Yeah. They they only care about that money. And I don't know if Google is even profitable yet. I know they were running at a deficit for a long time. They YouTube became profitable uh, like right after Adpocalypse, I believe. Like they switched. What is Adpocalypse? Adpocalypse is a really old term now. Whenever there's a couple of uh edgy youtubers like between the era of like 2012 i want to say mm. on to like 2016 i don't know the exact date of whenever the edgy youtubers pushed the line but at some point um youtube uh advertisers said i don't want my videos playing on this type of material it's too edgy it's too profane and some of this was as, as simple as like inappropriate jokes some of it was more extreme like uh, people were uploading murdery videos like actual things that can't go on YouTube against their TOS and somehow they were still getting ads so like there Terms was a service yeah there was a range of <laughs> content that was in this gray to bad zone and advertisers were getting on it and the weird part about this was this is a new era with with internet where for some reason advertisers care what their contents being placed on yeah and that's historically very strange because if you yes yes it is because if you um we've talked about this if you have content or if you want to market you're marketing towards a demographic or an audience but historically like on television which is the closest thing we had to youtube previously you would advertise on a channel at a time and -hmm. your time was based on uh prime time or peak hours versus low times which is like the 2 a.m 3 a.m where you're getting somebody probably with the munchies that's kind of in and out watching the show so you would pay more for more views and while you may target towards a channel like if you went to disney channel you're obviously hitting a kid market but if you go to um hbo you mm-hmm. may be getting like, I don't know, maybe like a Hallmark mer- movie as opposed yeah. to Friday the 13th. And it's like, that's a very wide gamut of how, you know, <laughs> how edgy the content is. And mm-hmm. you're basing it entirely on primetime, not the material that your ad's being placed on. I would say they could still, they still had more control, like what 
they were expecting their ads to be around though because they could choose the channel they would be able to know what channel and what yeah. roughly what content well, but youtube were just purely random well, videos with well, nick let me at, throw in nick fcc as well yeah fcc doesn't Better regulate regulation yeah. it doesn't regulate what goes on youtube what goes on your time yeah i didn't think about that the first time we talked about this but yeah. it, it was it is federally regulated right it's like yeah. there's a yeah. list of cuss words and these are the ones you got to bleep that's not yeah, that there's way literally on millions YouTube. of <laughs> unchecked you know it's like songs on the radio that we've been hearing for the past 10 years that haven't changed and yeah. because they're all safe everybody knows them or whatever you don't have to worry about it you don't even think twice when you hear something from the red hot chili peppers for the zillionth time on hey, the radio eminem right because yeah. the FCC won't let me be, let me be me. So let me see. So YouTube's more like the Wild West, <laughs> West compared to the TVs. Though. Well, I mean, with the, the prime, with the prime yeah, time yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. you're paying for that same time slot every day. You don't know if on a on a show like if you have Nick at night, you know that or Adult Swim, you know that once seven thirty hits or eleven mm-hmm. o'clock hits, you know that type of content is going to change. More precision, yeah. But if you're doing five to seven p.m on a channel that has a variety of content. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, even like Western channels or like like Boomerang or, or Cartoon Network and stuff like that, those time slots don't have the same type of content every time where you may sure. have a more violent Western or you may have a more, uh, I don't know, story-driven I don't know, peace offering or something like that. So it's like yeah. there was- But you m- also get like 15 minutes of ads before something shows up again. And the thing with it too is True. you're getting way more analytic data as opposed to television too. So it's like they're getting their cake and they're yeah. eating it too, which is, it's just, yeah. I understand we have the technology to make Money. it possible now, Money. but the fact Money. that they're over, Money. it's, is you give an inch and they take a mile For is, sure. is the, the concept. Because the problem it. is, is you give them an inch and they get a dollar. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And they That's can see the that almost immediately too. They don't have to wait like months to see it is this ad working or not well they know that yeah. user 3452 you know what i mean mm-hmm. is oh, is, he really is likes it. tristan Watkins, and he just had a baby and so he needs to see uh an ad for pampers you know what i mean yep. like and they know that like i don't know they they know all the stuff it's yeah. laid out and they they have a much further uh, you know, or, or a much broader data set for each yeah. person well, to be able to target ads. Especially with net neutrality's change. And I think that was also right around that same era as Apocalypse, yes. which was basically your ISP. So Comcast, AT&T, big tech company. Whenever you access your internet and you're going to websites, previously they weren't able to monitor that, but now they can. See everything. Um, and I don't really know the reasoning why if it was like well it's our data it's our right to know type of thing or if it was more of like a security feature like oh well Mm. if you're torrenting we need to be able to monitor this i don't remember the reasoning i just know that because of that big push more information was being able to be monitored thus more information was be able to be sold and then years later we got pushed into the google facebook era of data analytics like tracking an individual user on a platform and then leaving and going to another platform yep. and selling that data, which was you, user 4362, whatever, would go from here to here to here. This is the trend and the things that they're wanting to buy. And then it transitioned from that to buckets because of legislation where now instead of user 4623, I am white male 20 to 30 mm-hmm. Midwest cars. Digital fingerprint type thing where yeah. it's... It's still very, very easy to identify. You. How many well, no, white male was, Midwest thirty five year old? That whatever. was Apple that did that. It's not regulation. Really? Pretty sure that's regulation I, for I feel like all there's tech. Something that got put into place that mandated something similar to it. I don't know if it's exactly what Apple's doing. It's, it's not exactly Google and Facebook were the two in, in court because of it, I'm pretty sure. And this was back just like a year and a half ago. It was during COVID. Uh, I know there was some stuff that went down for sure, but if I'm yeah. if uh, if I if I'm thinking about this correct, I know they had to pivot because of the way that Apple started yeah. stopping tracking. Well, I believe uh, whatever Apple did, they were probably ahead of the curve because they like to probably. pride themselves on so that. So maybe it wasn't legislation, but that was... But they had to the, Those are the yeah. user-based internet interactions like historically in the last 10 years that yeah. have like made huge shifts in how, yeah. how you are viewed from an ad- advertiser perspective online um, and then how that's like slowly affected your ability to upload content and get paid for it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Which it's such a, it's, it's a tough thing in general because, you know, yeah, there were the golden years, right? And you could <laughs> do your thing and the internet was the wild west and I was fine. Uh, and it's not that way anymore, which is unfortunate, but it's, it is what it is. And I think the issue that if it's all come down to is like, it's just like, you know, AWS, which is Amazon web services, like, I, there's a very large percentage, double digit percentage of the web that's hosted there. And they're like, if it ever went down, half the yeah. web goes down. And it's like, no matter what you do, you're, you're, you know, you're tied to another service or another company and they can per law, you know, they can change their regulations or their terms of service at any point in time. And you're subject to that because you mm. are the consumer and yeah. as unfortunate as that is, and that's why so many creators have pushed to their own platforms yeah. uh, and built out their own, or they've moved to Patreon or whatever it is, it's still, no matter what, it eventually, I mean, even with Patreon, you could still get clamped down. I mean, it just depends. Yeah. I'm more surprised that, because we've talked about like what the, there's all these social medias, especially for video sharing platforms, because that's like the main, that's the main bulk of the internet is entertainment. And then you have like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. Started off, the difference was horizontal versus vertical, or yeah, horizontal versus vertical, and then the duration. But then they started breaking it down where some platforms allow both. You can do horizontal or vertical. And now they're starting to break down the time durations of all these things. So it's like you have these platforms that are almost identical the user experience is different based on like tiktok's very algorithm heavy youtube's also algorithm heavy but like features like subscription and filtering and duration of time and their ability to search for older content i feel is easier than just whatever's trending um mm. and all these are advert advertiser funded and that's how they generate their income and as they get tighter and tighter restrictions on what's allowed on their platforms, I'm really surprised that a alternative to YouTube hasn't come out with less restrictions and cheaper advertising costs. Because as YouTube gets more and more tied down with like... And now a quick break to hear from our sponsors. Passion for Acting Theater Company. Passion for Acting Theater Company has a passion for bringing excellent and entertaining live theater to audiences in Bartholomew County. Passion for Acting Theater Company, created in 2018, performs dinner theater productions at the terrific and eclectic Willow Leaves of Hope on the Square in Hope, Indiana. Their first production, The Miracle Worker, was a huge success and received great reviews from audience members. Since then, Passion for Acting Theater Company has performed 10 shows, ranging from comedies like The Kitchen Witches and The Odd Couple, to drama and suspense like their original murder mystery, Angel Street, to classic children's literature like The Secret Garden and Anne of Green Gables. Their next show will be Kalamazoo, a comedy about what happens when older folks try to get into the online dating scene. Kalamazoo will be performed at Willow Leaves of Hope in February, just in time for a Valentine's Day or to laugh the winter blues away. Enjoy a delicious dinner and a great night of entertainment at Willow Leaves of Hope. Phone number is 812-341-7251. Call now to make reservations for this laugh out loud comedy. It's less edgy. It's more advertiser friendly. We are going to charge you a premium so we can charge more money. It's like somebody's going to come out with something a little edgier that allows creators to be more maybe themselves at a lower because it's like, well, maybe you don't want the prime time spl spots for advertising. We are the if you don't mind your advertisers, if you, the people you're advertising to seeing a little weird stuff every once in a while, come to us. We're half mm. the price. Yeah, but the problem is, is the audience. YouTube yeah. has the audience. Twitch has the yep. audience. Where Patreon the has at? the audience. So even if I mean. I'm sure that Google and YouTube have blocked many a company in the background and no one ever knew about it. Yeah. yeah. But purchased them. Yo, for sure. But it's also one of those things, again, it's like you think about jumping ship, but you're like, you look at your income. Well, you don't have to jump ship because there's non-competes. Twitch just dropped their non-compete. Well, yeah, I mean, you could you upload could, all of them. You could put your content somewhere else, I guess. Yeah. yeah, but you still don't have the audience. Yeah, but now you have creators instead of trying to find some place to go they just do a patreon support and that's what's driving me nuts i can only after a certain point it's like oh i, I get it i got, can only subscribe 10, to so many things you got 10 creators at two dollars a month it's like all right there's 20 and it's like well we need more money so it's three dollars so like right now it's 30 so it's like hey you get the same incremental increase that you get with all your spotify youtube tv 
uh, Disney Plus, HBO Max, Netflix. Netflix. Mm. It's like, all right, now we're higher than cable. Plus, I'm supporting creative individual creators, which I wholeheartedly would rather do. Yes. <laughs> but the point of Patreon, like maybe, maybe you just get a blanket Patreon. <laughs> It's like, all right, for 40 bucks a month on Patreon, you can get access to all these creators. And then it'll divide the income based on which creators you access to. So if you visit four of their sites for their contents or whatever, your $40 a month gets split four ways plus Patreon's cut. Because like... Mm. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, th- I feel like that would be a good alternative because I know they have video hosting on there already. Yeah, for sure. And I, I get that. That's the tough part is I, I don't. I have creators I like, but I mean, gosh, it would take a lot for me. I mean, even with Cordor, I like Cordor, but I'm not going to pay to go see their other stuff. <laughs> you don't have to. I do. It's on the company account. <laughs> no, I get it. I'm just saying like <laughs> in general, I just, it would take, it would take a lot for me to do so. And it's like technically, I mean, I have a youtube music youtube premium subscription and it's like i don't you know they're getting ready to raise that on me like a good amount and so it's like i don't need another Mm. subscription i don't even watch any of them to be honest like the all the sub my wife watches them a lot which is why we keep them but it's like we have two spotify's why (laughs) because you can only be logged in at one at a time yeah and i think the family you have to it's like four to six people right yeah there's a duo Mm. mode now but it's like hers is still in the student once she gets hulu for free with it ah and it's like well what do i do you know yeah (laughs) yeah no i get it there's subscription we could talk about that's a whole other thing yeah and i mean it's we i did do the math the other day and it is cheaper than cable it is what like, just in general like, like if even even my combo and i think what do we have we have netflix disney plus uh i'm trying to think youtube tv which we split so it's it's yeah. for now it's yeah it's well i mean it'll be the first thing to go though for me but um i think all together was like 40 bucks a month and i know my dad said like drake tv was like 120 130 a yeah. month and so i'm like it's still i mean that's a third right <laughs> That's a third of the cost. So yeah, at it's the end better of the day, it's on demand. You can pause stuff. You can bring cancel it, it whenever you want. Bring it right back, and you don't yeah. have to deal with a two-hour phone you call. Don't have to, some weird yeah. guy show up to your house and do something to it. It's it's a heck yeah. of a lot better. And I think the best bet, and this is a this is a free tip for everybody out there, hmm. go online, do your research, and do the systematic approach of like you know you you subscribe to the to the service that has the show that you're willing to watch yep, yep. and you get rid of everything else and then you know it's like okay uh new stranger things comes out you know you you get your your month for netflix and you use it and then you cancel it and then it's yeah. like oh you know, the last of us comes out and it's like grab you an hbo go or yeah. hbo max i guess is what's called now uh get you a subscription and it's like i know the people that play the system that way save yeah. the most money in yeah. the long run. And you know, if you're trying to chase down where the office is or where Seinfeld, Seinfeld is, just buy the box sets. You'll save a lot of you money. You don't way need more to stream money. those things if you just want to watch them all the time. Just and, have them physically. And I'm sure they're available on all the normal stores. Oh like gosh, Apple yeah. TV probably has, uh, you know, that you can buy and own. And yeah. same with like, uh, what is it on Google? It's uh, Play Movies or is it is yeah. it that still or no? I think it's a little play store I, with the movies. It's permanently installed on my phone. Let me see. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, right? It comes with it. You can't. <laughs> I need to do the math. Like, cause I don't listen to like randomly the search or whatever on Spotify. I just use, listen to my playlist and that's it. Yeah. I should just buy the CDs. Uh, I've thought about CDs. this. Yeah, I and then just it. cancel it, rip them, and then just have them on my device. That was my favorite thing about, or why I switched over to Google Play Music at the time when it first came out, because it was it was cloud it was free unlimited cloud storage yeah. for your music. So yeah, I did that. I had a huge library. I'm sure, you did the same. I uploaded everything, and it's still to this day I can access it all through my YouTube Music. Can you add any more still? I have no idea. I haven't tried. I added, I had a library that I added and then obviously now I use yeah. it all on there. I abandoned ship when they killed music or Google play music and went to YouTube music. Cause I hated the interface on YouTube is bad It compared to what Google play music was. Yeah. It was bad. I, I did not like it. I stuck around for many reasons and I'm, I'm not upset about it. I actually really like and it. And Hulu was cheap. Not, not Hulu, Spotify. but the Spotify plus Hulu was cheaper. So yeah. But see, I also got grandfathered in mm. on the family plan. On the prices. Yeah. So, like, I'm still, I think, 
so mine's fourteen ninety nine for the family plan of six people. Okay. And I've all my slots are full. Um, and obviously that counts for YouTube Premium as well, which is ad free YouTube. I'm close to doing to that because I have Dude. a new TV and I've been watching YouTube <laughs> on the TV and. Like, they don't even try to show me different ads. They show me, like, the same Papa John's one 10 in a yeah, row. I'm like, dude, I'm never going to shop at Papa John's dude, now. I hate them. So, the, I just hate it. I can smell it. You want to... A little life hack. I don't want to share this, like... Like, I don't want to do a tip video on this because I know oh. if YouTube ever found it, they would get rid of it immediately. But on Chrome, if you go to YouTube and you watch a video and yeah. you just refresh the page, as soon as the video loads, just refresh it. No ad. And I've I've so had never that blocker, had though. not on my phone. You have to get a. You oh. can't use it on Chrome. Uh, you'd have to get some other. Oh, on the phone, yeah, it makes yeah, sense. yeah. I have ad blocker on my computer, but like if you're on your phone, I I can't watch um, YouTube on the app because every they do two three ads now. Each one's like 10, 15 seconds. So it's like there's yep. thirty seconds. So it's like how how to give someone CPR? Someone's dying yeah. right in front of you. You're like, oh, sorry, I gotta watch three ads real quick. Yeah. It's like a thirty second yeah. video. If I pull up a minute video and there's an ad, I just like okay, I'm not gonna watch anymore. See, then I just refresh. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. see, like that's see. So I had the music plan, and then they eventually tacked on youtube premium and it was like one day mine said premium and i was like what does that even mean and i looked it up and they were like this is included now and i was like oh so i've literally never in my life i have i had an ad youtube yeah so just uh do a do a little little game at home follow along see see what you guys got you guys got amazon that's at least 15 bucks google cloud that's two to i'm guessing ten dollars google cloud yeah uh so like if you're doing google storage or anything like more this is not not just yeah drive so like anything that's unnecessary tech subscriptions not necessarily just what you're watching but with amazon you get amazon tv and music and all that you do there's a couple um, good shows on Amazon Prime. If you want to store your music and be able to play it, you're going to need some storage if you got more than 15 gigabytes or whatever. So you're going to probably yeah. throw it on Google. Well, that's on my NAS. Spotify, that's <laughs> another 10 bucks. Um, I'm not going to throw in uh, your internet. Everybody has internet. You just pay what you want. Got to have it. Pay what you need. Pay what you need. It's like, all right, what else we got? My uh, my wife likes to read, so she there's a ton of different reading apps. But she, she uses uh, Kindle Unlimited. That's another 10. I want to play video games with my family and throw that in the category too it's like minecraft's got one uh warcraft's got one hbo max hulu spotify if you're a student it's another 10 bucks you got netflix on top of that if you mm. do any of those um like clothes Are these all the things you have yeah yeah Dang. you wow. got another you want to do the clothing box services a lot of people like those subscriptions it's like they deliver clothes to your house you like them that's like another 10 15 bucks a month it's like you, by the end of it you tried spending, one of those <laughs> they yeah, sent me go? like a 70 dollar black t-shirt there's nothing on it <laughs> was it better than the ones i wear mm. it wasn't worth never 70 dollars i don't i don't well, maybe i shirts. need it <laughs> maybe you do i don't know and like as soon as i pulled the bl- I, I looked at the other stuff but like once i saw the stupid shirt i was like i'm returning all this stuff it's waste of money <laughs> Well, it's, it's Dude, probably I could all have told dro- you you wouldn't like that. It's probably all drop shipped anyways. It's probably like a three dollar <laughs> shirt. Yeah, it's probably made in the same terrible sweatshop as. Hey, you gotta be careful. You just said that. you said a word that may get us kicked on Twitch. Oh no! You can't talk about that. Yeah, watch out, all three people. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I mean, we don't upload. I'm it. kidding. I know. Yeah, we uh, get our shirts from sweatshops. <laughs> That's funny. Um, wow. So we, uh, <laughs> I like, kidding. I like how we went from chat GPT all the way to subscriptions. That's funny. Um, yep. we're going to wrap soon. So, Woo. uh, yeah, we need to wrap soon. So, uh, last thing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Last thing that we'll do, um, per use. We had a tip Tuesday this week. It goes along with what we were just talking about. Uh, Netflix is getting ready to crack down on password sharing. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's happening. Uh, There is no firm date on when the policy is going to change, but the policies are starting to be written and put into place. So I would expect it to happen this year. They've been kind of slowly rolling it out and trying it in different countries. So uh, we posted something. There's there's a slight workaround at the moment, Um, but at least when it gets started... You can you can verify a device uh, or an account through you know through the, the the main account holder's account, and they can you can get a PIN number. You put it in within 15 minutes. It verifies mm-hmm. the device because the big issue is like everybody's like, okay, so you're going to restrict. It's like what? And you know it's supposed to be restricted to your home network. And it's like, what if I travel? 
Yeah. What if I have kids? Divorced family, whatever you got. Exactly. Right? Traveling. It's like I, I want to watch Netflix on the plane or in a car or whatever. Like what about f- my home in Mumbai or whatever? You exactly. Know? Well, yeah, if you have multiple places, it's gonna be like cable where you have to take your box with you. You remember that? Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's so everybody so so as of right now within the U.S. they will do that whole thing where it's like you can you just have to verify a device. So if you're on the phone with somebody, you could essentially do it in real time and be fine. Oh no. But down the line and what they've done in other countries is that that device has to be seen on your network every 31 days like set man. up a vpn yeah i don't know it's I know. dumb I, you ever just like want to envision like a company as a person that you can just punch in the face well and here's the here's the funny thing it's not funny but here's like the <laughs> ironic part of all this stuff is that i don't know if you guys heard of this but one of the big co-founders of netflix stepped down really yes and the rumor is is that he was one of the people that was very you know uh content centric Wanted to make stuff for people. Wanted to make the experience better. Like, Ooh. I think the tech stack with Netflix has always been very good. Like, I was able to watch Netflix over other uh, streaming services with, like, lower internet. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, it, it always just seemed to work, you yeah. know? And so, that was awesome about it. And now that there's, like, these new players in, like, now they're trying to restrict the password sharing. They just canceled a bunch of shows. They're, like, really getting restricted on how much production they're doing now. And it's all about the dollar. And so it's, yeah. like, now that they're focused on that, now there's the streaming wars. Because they were sitting at the top, like, I'm good. Yeah. And now and they raised the streaming their price wars. and got rid of shows, shot himself in the foot. Yeah. And so, the I, you know, co-founder Who's was, I'm the sh- money sure, sure the co-founder was, like, I'm out, you know? Because yeah. they also hit a plateau with users. Well, yeah, I that mean, was a big Facebook deal. Facebook did the same thing. Yeah, just my, the line has to keep going up. Which, and we've talked about this. I yeah. don't quite understand it, but you know, it's like, wh- why not just sustainable, right? Why not get to a point where you can sustain? I don't think you understand how the world works, man. I know. We I gotta know how burn it works. this big grape floating through space to the ground. Oh, I know to make a dollar. Give him an inch. I know. Yeah. It's silly though. It's, I, I mean, in my opinion, and, and I'm not saying like. I'm not motivated or I don't want to grow my business, but it's like, eventually it's like, why can't Apple sit there and be like, we got a trillion dollars in the bank and be like, we should just make yeah. some good products and just stay sustainable at this level. But instead they're like, we're going to shareholders. Eat. That's the reason. It's just ridiculous. That's the reason. Once you go public, you sure. have to meet it. Otherwise people pull out with their cash. And cause the, yeah. and it's like, then go private. I'm gonna just just buy back your shares, man. Well, again, the, the problem is the shareholders. Like, why can't they just be happy? Well, yeah. I mean, if they're collecting a check, like that's well, the point, right? Well, I mean, yeah, it has to keep being more. No, every so time. that one actually does make sense. Before we run off, it's like the economics of basically it's based on your region, but because we do have a global economy, but it's mostly based on region. So it's like if the the economy's gone up like ten percent two times in a row. But averaging, like, historically, like, the U.S. has only gone up, like, 2 to 3% a year. So, if your money isn't increasing by 2 to 3% a year, you're technically losing money uh, at, based on, like, the rate of inflation and stuff. So, and that's, like, why milk's more expensive and why everybody's minimum wage, like, nobody, I don't want to disparage anybody, but it's it's very uncommon <laughs> to make seven fifty now. Like, it, it's still... It's still possible, but a lot of companies are are hiring starting out uh, beginner jobs at more than seven fifty. Which growing up just ten years ago when I started in the workforce was happen. was not common. So like the fact that minimum wage technically hasn't raised, but people are making more. Everything's cost of living's going up is just proof that the, it's it's the whole scale is sliding. It's sliding mm. a lot. So as a shareholder like if you need to be making over two to three percent and if you want to be ahead of even the inflation in the last couple of years you need to be making more than ten percent um and as a like that's how you make your money and while you're like why don't you just be content it's like well why would i be content being the same when i could take this money and put it in a startup or someone else that i could get that that same yield so it's it's that it's the it's a bunch of scavenger vultures really <laughs> they're, they're looking for the next yeah, carcass vultures is a great way to describe well the, people. they're always still, looking for the next carcass yeah. man they're still profiting i mean they're still right everybody's yeah, earnings just profits. came out they're yeah. not for profit 
But, okay. Except for Meta. <laughs> what they meta say? not for profit? No, I was saying that like I said most most of them made money because earnings just came yeah. out. But um, uh but not not meta, so much meta. Keep trying to make the metaverse happen. We all really want it they to lost, be big and lots of money. Dude, they lost so, a stupid amount I well, the amount of money last don't year. Don't worry, we're just waiting to join up. Keep investing money. Keep while uh, keep while doing you're pulling it. up your numbers. My uh, my brother and I are playing Minecraft and I have a bunch of things that he likes in the game and he wants these things and i'm like well you either, you have to work for it and he's like i'm saving all of my in-game currency and i was like what are you saving up for it's like this is stuff that you said you wanted he's like i want to be a tycoon and i was like well what does that mean like what does that mean to you he's like i just want to have a bunch of money in the game and i was like but you said the game's not enjoyable because you're missing out on these features because you won't spend it and you have the currency and he's like I want to I just want to have a bunch of it and then I'm going to make more and then I'll make more and then I'll get the things that I want and I was like no, I, what's that metric like when you when do you know that you'll have enough that you're willing to buy the thing greed. and uh, he's like I don't know when I know I'll have enough before I buy it and I was like maybe you should think about that <laughs> you know what I mean it's just like it's so funny at such a young age capitalism has, has ripped into his soul so it's hard breaking bad which I think it's a great thing, you know, he wants to save up, but it's like, I think a lot of time, maybe it was a previous generation, but it's like, you just money, 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 and you never enjoy it. And then the next generation is enjoy, 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 and they never look forward. And then you, you kind of flip that cycle every 20, 30 years in your generations. Hmm. Yeah. I can't, I can't find the number again. I know I saw it, but it was, it was in the billions. On their, on their billions? losses, yeah. Thank oh God. yeah, no. It was almost entirely based on their meta venture, their not, meta's metaverse venture. Yeah, which is where most of their layoffs came from, was from their AR VR departments. I mean, I feel bad for the people who got laid off, but Eleven. they also Do went you? to work. They, they also chose to work at Meta. That's so my like, point. Yeah. Do you really feel bad? It's like <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go play in poop, and it's like oh, you got covered in poop. And you're like oh, I can't believe I got covered in poop. Oh my god! Like, oh, it's like maybe oh, hey, all the happens. struggles of being a father. I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, I had a kid gosh. and I got covered in poop. I can't believe it. it's like you chose to have a kid. How could you? It's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's but, all that's right. It. That's what? it. That's all we're gonna do today. All right. See you. Bye. Watch. <laughs> go watch a Tuesday tip. It'll help you with your Netflix woes that will happen at some point it's a, it's just a bunch of greedy people That's just a just bunch of is. bunch of people saving up money corporate, to be tycoons corporate greed <laughs> <laughs> so anyways appreciate you guys stopping by we're back uh we're gonna keep recording our weekly episodes i promise uh we got some guests we're gonna bring on so there's going to be some exciting stuff happening and uh this is just the beginning of the year so we got a lot going on and we're excited to share uh kind of what we got happening and more video content and all the fun stuff so uh yeah this was episode 17 appreciate you guys stopping by come back we've got more episodes Go back and watch mm -hmm. some stuff. Watch the intern cast. Yeah, we saw the viewer retention drop off. Yeah. Go back. We see what you're doing. We see what you're doing. Go follow us on that Instagram, wall? Facebook. Or you can kiss my ass.